Hey, what's up everyone? This is Paul T. Just want to take a quick moment to thank you for checking out my latest short film, Trickle Down Autonomy. I had an excellent cast and crew. I enjoyed making this film and you are definitely going to see that translate onto the screen. I also wanted to quickly mention that we did record this in full HD 1080p. So if you're on your laptop and you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to go into the YouTube uh, player settings and make sure that you're watching this in 1080p. If you're watching this on a mobile device, it's probably best to have it auto select the best quality for you. But if you have the option, please be sure to select 1080p on your mobile device as well. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're just getting started. After this project, I'm rolling right into the next one. So uh, be sure to subscribe so that you're the first to know what's going on with Paul T and Bad Joy Productions. And again, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. Bye. Come on, bitch, think. Think. There has to be something I'm missing. I mean, we both have the same motivation to see this son of a bitch put away forever, right? God, how many people does this guy have his hooks into? Now there's a face that just screams I haven't been fucked in weeks. And why are we not meeting at a bar or something? It's at a stupid park. What bars do you know that are open at 9 a.m.? Well, I just don't see why we couldn't have met around the time when they usually are open. I mean, seriously, how the hell am I supposed to meet a hot guy at a fucking public park? Single guys don't hang out at public parks. Well, excuse me for wanting to go somewhere quiet where I can think without the distraction of a bunch of swinging dicks. I like to drink while I think. I don't mind the distraction so much. So, what was so important that couldn't wait till I got back from vacation? I need some information. Okay, what kind of information? I need to know why the CIA is purposefully stifling my investigation into Diego Torres. Are you serious right now? <sighs> you know we don't operate on U.S. soil, Don. At least that's what your charter states. Not sure some of the folks over at your agency have had a chance to read it yet. Oh my god. Don, the Middle East is on fire. We've got China and Russia trying to entrench themselves in our own backyard. Homegrown terrorism is on the rise. What makes you think that we have any bandwidth for some two-bit drug dealer? Except this isn't just some two-bit drug dealer, Charlotte, and you know that. Listen, I only came here because I thought that you had something serious you wanted to discuss. Not to hear bullshit conspiracy theories about how the CIA is even remotely interested in your case against some low-level drug trafficker. When Diego Torres starts manufacturing nuclear warheads out of his mom's basement, give me a call. Who is the junk merchant? Such an unimaginative name for a snitch. Wouldn't you say? You did. analysis that the junk merchant is now working as an asset for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You hacked my email account? 
What the fuck is your problem? What the fuck is your problem? How could you stab me in the back like that? We're friends, for Christ's sake. I'm an analyst, Don. I'm just doing what they pay me to do. You know, my job. What, you think I can just tell my bosses to fuck off whenever they give me requests? What did you think was gonna happen when you kicked a hornet's nest? Jeez. I warned you months ago to give up on trying to bust Diego Torres. To say that this guy has friends in high places is an understatement. Why do you think nobody else is looking into him other than you? You haven't even been officially sanctioned to pursue a criminal case against him. And I'm not gonna wait for permission to do so. What happened to you? Do you no longer care that your sister overdosed on Diego's trash? I don't, Don. I am finally at peace with the fact that people have to live with the choices that they make. Heather chose that lifestyle and everything that came with it. That's on her. Well, she was my friend too, damn it. And she'd probably still be alive if there were less assholes like Diego being given carte blanche to do as they please. What the hell, Charlotte? We dropped out of med school for this. We vowed that we would find the person responsible for her death and hunt down others just like Diego. And now that we're this close, you're just gonna throw your hands up and walk away? I know that nothing I say to you will change your mind about any of this. You truly have no idea what you're up against. You have no idea how many folks this guy has in his back pocket. How many people want and need his money for their stupid political campaigns or Ponzi schemes disguised as business ventures. We're talking about professional hustlers who are dressed up as congressmen, agency directors, CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. They're used to dealing with the Diegos of the world. They don't give a shit where the money comes from or how it's obtained as long as it just keeps rolling in uninterrupted. And that is what you continue to not hear me on despite me telling you this over and over and over again. Nobody wants to see this guy go to jail. Like your boss is. Do you know that someone was feeding Diego info in real time when he ambushed my asset yesterday? wasn't me. If I thought it were you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We do know that the leak came from inside the CIA. From who? You don't need to know from who. I don't need another one of your analysis throwing a monkey wrench into my plans. I have another trip scheduled for tomorrow, so I can withdraw another bag and have it to you with a 48-hour turnaround. I don't know, man. This cash looks really dirty. Uh, well, I can have them order a new batch of bills for you, if you want. No thanks. You've said too much already. I hear you like to talk a lot. Let's go talk. Just make sure you're not on the wrong side of things when the cavalry comes riding in the clean house over there. Oh, and you're wrong about people not wanting to see Diego in jail. Just as there are lots of people he's helped, there are also a lot of people who he's hurt indirectly or otherwise. And they're tired of watching everyone look the other way on this. We're getting this done with or without your help. Just do me one huge favor. If you're gonna fuck me, give me a heads up next time, will ya? Friend. Enjoy your trip. What the fuck was that all about yesterday? Why is the FBI flipping my associates into snitches? Calm down, Diego. Who is this puta, huh? 
A million other drug traffickers out there, and she's going around sticking her nose into my business? I thought you said you had your people under control. Calm down, Diego. The fuck am I giving you guys all this money for if you're not kicking it down the ladder to your people? I mean, that's what it's about, right? Some rogue agent who feels she's not getting a big enough slice of the pie decides to try to set me up so she can shake me down for more money? It's, uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that. What do you mean? Well, according to my contacts at the FBI, this one's a... This one's a true believer. Get the fuck out of here. You mean this chick is actually trying to build a case against me? Unfucking believable Well, every now and then you run into one or two of them that... They're not motivated by money. I mean, they want to be a hero, you know? I'm sure <laughs> that when she's done with you, she's going to want your head mounted on her cubicle wall. You got to do something about her then. I'm looking into it. But in the meantime, what have you two turned up? Nothing. She's as clean as a whistle. Not even a traffic ticket. This, this could get expensive. No. Fuck you. All right, I'm not giving you any more than the ordinary deal we have in place. In an ordinary situation, ordinary would suffice. But this is far from ordinary, my friend. We still have to deal with the problem of the snitch that you killed. Might I remind you, Congressman, you're not the only person in Washington on my payroll. All right, I can just as well start grooming one of the incoming freshmen and get what I need for half the cost. Might we also remind you that you're up for re-election this year and not so popular in your district at the moment. Plus, your opponent, Ken Burns, is seen as a rising star and a promising congressional contender. All it would take is a nice financial bump to really put him over the top. Well, I'm very well aware what's going on in my district. Thank you. But unless you two have forgotten, Ken Burns, he doesn't have a brother-in-law that's running the Department of Justice as Attorney General of the United States. I do. So again, I'll say that getting an FBI agent transferred to bum fucking Egypt and cleaning up your shit from a snitch that you killed, it could get expensive. You better fucking deliver. I'll do my part. You just keep these little black briefcases coming. 